going to see a man guys because i would be 14 years old and i'd be watching million dollar listing and then i'd be here's some of my collection jake paul was here so he was my neighbor for like a month Crazy. Just did his house tour. Can't tell you where it is. We've got him drop soon. Get ready. Welcome to Dubai. Right now we are on the Palm in Dubai. It's that man-made island. It looks like a leaf. Everything. We are on one of the fronds. So, like, if you look at the map, show them the overhead. So the little fronds are those leaves. So we're on one of those and we're gonna see my friend, Iman Ghazi. You know him from YouTube, you know him from socials, blowing up everywhere. So we're just gonna go interrupt his whole day and do a fun property tour. Let's go see Iman's house. Big door. Oh, there's a doorbell. Hello. Look who it is. Welcome to Middle East. How Thank you. you. <laughs> Come on in. Welcome to the humble abode. I'm renting this place for a year okay. while we're trying to find a decent plot of land. One thing I think I told you that will not. But it's Dubai. You get to just or you get to just make more land. No, but the you just put more sand in the water and then boom, there you go, a new plot. No, but you're not gonna find. For me personally, you're not gonna find a, a place like the Palm, like. They can build, they can continue to build that way and they are building that way in terms of big villas and big projects. But for me, there's no place you're gonna have a villa that's on the water. Yeah. To me, that's a dream. The place looks nice. I will say, I think I showed you earlier, you get stuff like that everywhere. I mean, it's just, it's too hot to have insulation here. No, but I- so Everything's gonna be hollow. No, but I, I don't mean just that. I just mean in Dubai in general. Yeah. You know, everyone thinks Dubai luxury and this and that. The one thing, the one thing I'll fault uh, the, you know, the UAE on is their build quality. And I get it, they've had to build so quick. I mean, what they've been able to do with the country in the past 30, 40 years is a miracle. It's insane. Because so, they built this whole house in like 48 hours, probably. Probably, yeah, probably, Boom. probably 36 Amon's gotta hours. live here. <laughs> so this was fully built Fully, fully built, fully, fully furnished. Fully furnished, so yeah. this isn't your furniture either. No. Got it. I, uh, I would change So the that. owner might come home, like right now. Potentially, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. this isn't your furniture, so this is not even, so this is, this is a nice couch. Do you I, hang out in here a lot? I've sat here once, to be honest. You've sat here once? Yeah. I don't think I've ever sat on that couch over there. To be honest, I'm just in my office working, in my bedroom sleeping, and then I spend a lot of time outside in, in the gym as well. I take a lot of calls from outside. Got it. Pace back and forth. All right, so this is your living room, kind of hangout area. So yeah, dining room, uh, living area. Nice. I guess other is dining room. Is that a box open for a reason? One of my friends bought me a big box of oud. Oud? What's oud? Oud. It's like, I'm sure you smell like, you've had meetings with Middle Eastern people and they have a very sort of So like one of your intense... friends came over and just gave you a huge box of cologne? Yeah. Okay. So that smells like the Middle East, actually. There we go. That's what, I was on a plane with guys that smelled just like that. So yeah, coming into here, lots of TVs. Place came up with lots of TVs. Lots of TVs. Once again, they've got stone on the wall that goes up. This house could be in LA, right? They use a lot of like marble, a lot of stone, a lot of stone features. Like on the West Coast, you'd call it you don't have this because you, you don't have like floor to ceiling glass everywhere. But you see a lot of this plus floor to ceiling glass and you call it like a porn star house. Really? So well, it's just why, like is, a, why is that? Just because that's who ends up buying a lot of those houses when he uses a lot of the houses. Mm -hmm. Do you wear shoes in the house? I don't. Okay, I usually wear shoes in the house. You do? And I don't know many people that do. I feel weird walking around my house like with no shoes. But then you take the outside inside. I'm only wearing shoes because you didn't say anything and you're wearing shoes and no. he's wearing shoes. I guess it's because I work from home. Yeah. So for me, like mentally, it feels weird sitting at my desk or like being around the house and trying to get any work done if I've got like slippers on. <laughs> yeah. So what is this? Like, where are we right now? Is this like a, is this a bar? 
Uh, no, it's a little place for you to sit down. Should we sit what? here at this Shit. stone Chef bar? Chef makes some breakfast. Ah, mm. this is like your breakfast bar. Breakfast bar. With no kitchen though. Uh, kitchen's through there. Ah, the secret <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> Oh, it's so small. This is because most people who live on the Palm probably have someone cooking for them all the time. Yeah, always, 100%. Do you spend a lot of time in the kitchen? I don't cook, to be honest. You don't cook? No. Does anyone here cook? How do you eat? Uh, so we're currently looking for a new chef here. If you're a chef in Dubai and you're watching this right now, this man needs food. If you're anywhere in the world and you want to relocate to Dubai, I'm currently looking for a chef. There you go, awesome. So this is home gym. Nice. Uh, so. so you take the garage home gym because it never rains in Dubai, so you just take the cars outside. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, plus the other thing is uh, these are all uh, cardio stuff and these cardio stuff can be moved. Do you work out by yourself every day or do you have someone come over? Uh, sometimes I work out by myself. Sometimes I'm now getting into boxing. Yep. Um, so I just hire a boxing coach three times a week. So nice. he comes over and then sometimes. It's a good sweat. Yeah, sometimes uh, I have like more of a functional CrossFit coach. But it's fun because you can do runs here on the palm, you can do runs on the beach, you can work out on the beach, you can work out here, you, it's, it's amazing. You work out once a day, twice a day? Nah, nah, maybe like four or five times a week. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, there's no basements on this island. No, 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 no. You'd be like... <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so, I mean, then, the again, water. With, then again with Dubai, you, you, never you know. really never know. You were telling me that they, they artificially create clouds to make artificial rain here. Yeah, pretty much. They're trying to make Dubai more of like a livable or feel like a normal city. They've started artificially just creating rain. So it's been raining a lot more like the last year or so. The first year I was here, it rained maybe three, four days. Because the government just turns, the, hits the rain button? Actual mechanics of it, I'm not entirely sure, but I know they send uh, planes up in the sky and then they leave trails of something and then, yeah and that causes the clouds and then rains. So coming into one of the guest rooms. Well, I guess technically this is the only guest room at the moment. Has anyone ever slept in this bed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had like uh, quite a few of my employees that were visiting me uh, before we went to Nepal. You're such a nice boss. I don't think any employees have ever stayed at my house. Really? I yeah, mean, don't get any ideas. No. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, even in Cape Town, I had some of my employees staying so much so that my place was so packed, I just stayed in a hotel five minutes away. I was like, you guys take the house. Oh. I'll go stay in a hotel. <laughs> That's nice. This is Alex's room, my head of production, so. Sitting and editing. He's like, there he is, say hello. <laughs> Hi, world. Why don't, why don't you tour the room, Alex? Me and no, no. I have quite a set show, but it's been like maybe two weeks. Okay. Out of five months of the year. Three months of the year, four months of the year. I don't even know what it's, yeah. it's nice. You got like the red themed room. No, with, like, this, the this, this is why I, I gave him the red room because the red room because Alex is yeah, he's someone else. He's single as well, by the way. So. Okay. So again, if you're a chef or a lover of Alex, oh, you got a red bathroom. <laughs> like it. Like these houses, when developers do them and they do them on spec, it's always with designers and I sit with them all the time. I'm like, well, this bedroom has to have a theme and this one. So you've got the pink one, you've got the red one. Oh, it's just like a little bit maroon. But it's like they matched the, the paint on like the everywhere, from the sinks and everything, all the way around. You've got these little pockets, it's nice. And then you got a terrace. You have no doorknob. You have no doorknob, so we should probably get that fixed. <laughs> the real secret is he, he took this off so he couldn't escape. <laughs> He's like, oh, I can't get out, that's so funny. <laughs> Lock that door, edit, edit. <laughs> Content. And then, very this. cool. I love this though, how like airy it is, how it breathes, you can see mm. all the way through. We move into the master. In the US, we call this the primary. Really? Yes. I've never heard that before. I, th yeah, I think I told you, I used, to, I used to watch you with my mom. I used to put you up on the TV and be like, listen, you see, I don't need to go to college. I can become a real estate agent. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. So, Just winning moms over <laughs> one no, day at a time. I, when I told my mom that um, we were doing a little collab, she was so excited. 
She was like, you have to do it. This is so exciting. Nice. She usually never gets excited about anything. Nice. But yeah. I, but I see what you're saying though. Like the door is no, everything, huge. Everything is super cheap. But everything's super, so it looks pretty. Every, but this is just everything in Dubai. So what here is yours? Are like the watches yours or the? Uh, yeah, so, some little bits and bobs like pillows, stuff like that. But all the like core furniture, like this is all. You was, talk about was, watches a lot. Yeah. Where do you keep most of your watches? Vault. Where's the vault? Is it in the sand? I can get asked to get some for you if you want. Yeah, just show some of your watches. Mm -hmm. I've got like maybe half my watch collection here, but I've got still maybe like two and a half million dollars. Nice. This is a terrace, which once again. I find it suspicious that your terrace <laughs> has a handle that works. His terrace door was taken off. So you have the beach. Some people have pools, as you can uh, see. Yeah, we have a pool as well. You have a pool? Yeah, it's just on the side. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. We didn't go outside yet. I've never been in the pool though. Oh, classic. Yeah. It's like how you haven't been on the couches or the <laughs> chairs or the beds. I don't know. I like to work. I don't know. I'm a simple man. I like this. It's like a neutral kind of gray. But even from the closet, you have the view of the water, tons of sky. Huge shower. It's like a party shower. You have tons of stone accents, like even this. Like I know we say like everything's done cheap in Dubai, but like this is you know, less cheap. Have you ever taken a bath in here? No. <laughs> I don't seem, you, you don't seem like somebody that would be taking a lot of baths. So where are we going to now? So this is my office, which, well, I guess it used to be my office. Now I don't even call it an office anymore. I just call it a recording studio because. So this is cool. So this is the final bedroom like at the top of the house. So you record most of your YouTube videos from here. Yeah, everything in the home studio, yes. And then sometimes we're abroad and we'll record if need be. Got it. So what do you do all day? Like today, what did you do? Until so, I got here and ruined your day. So it's really weird. When I first started my businesses, like six, seven years ago, I was very militant and I was all about deep focus work. So I would wake up. With the first company or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, basically just the first few years of my career between even different businesses, like it was... You started so young. How did you have that kind of militant discipline when you were just a teenager? Most teenagers are out there like trying to get drunk for the first time. I don't know. I think, uh, you know, single mom, difficult childhood. Um, it's a very typical story, but, it, you know, I, that's basically what drove me. Yeah. You know, me and my mom, as I said, it's funny. I used to watch you with my mom. Uh, we used to watch Million Dollar Listing and I was fighting with my mom. I was like, listen, it's not like anyone's gonna pay for my university and I don't wanna go into debt for, you know, to get this college education and whatnot. Right. So I was told my mom, I'm like, no, listen, cause I would be 14 years old and I'd be watching Million Dollar Listing and then I'd be reading all the investing books and reading all the self-help books and creating business plans and thinking, you know, how could I start a business with no money and this right. and that. And, yeah, and then two years later, I started my first business um, and that took off. I dropped out of school when I was 17. Um, yeah, I guess the rest is history. <laughs> All right, let's go see outside. We haven't been outside. <laughs> and when did you get, start getting into watches? Well, my first watch was when I was nine years old. I bought a Timex Expedition. Okay. Um, I thought it was like the coolest thing ever because you would press the crown and it would illuminate. Yeah, once I made my first sort of serious money, I bought a Rolex. Nice, let's open it up. So, yeah, here's some of my collection. My favorite isn't actually here. It's, oh. it's a reference code 5712R. It's the new rose gold Nautilus Patek. It's this exact watch, except rose gold. Got it. I mean, that's actually still at the boutique at Patek. I haven't picked it up yet. How do you decide which watch you're gonna wear, just based on your mood? Yeah, it depends. Like, let's say for example, today I'm wearing a very sort of... Uh, relaxed, relaxed, kind of chill outfit. Yeah, so I could do something like a little pop of color. This is probably one of my favorite watches. These, the Richard watches, they're so light. Uh, try that. <laughs> it's insane how much this costs for how light it's it funny, is. It's funny, for Velcro. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, are you sure? Are you sure that's the price? <laughs> yes. Now that is a Cartier. That's a Cartier Santos, the skeleton. And it's also got this quick lock system so you can, so you can switch out bands. Oh, you yeah. keep it in this like, what is this, fireproof, bulletproof? I mean, to be honest, it doesn't need to be super secure. This is in the vault and then, yeah, the vault's quite secured up. Fingerprints, stuff like that, so. Nice. Yeah. All right, let's do outside. Let's do it. So 
So this is your outdoor space. Yeah. It's all looks new. So you have an outdoor kitchen, which is cool. Do you know your yeah. neighbors yet? Uh, yeah. Uh, they're British people. And then here, funnily enough, no one's ever in here, but Jake Paul was here. Ah. He was my neighbor for like a month. Yeah. You have a huge deck out here. So this is your pool that you don't use either. Yeah. Now this is, this is more of like a party pool. Like you have this and people can lounge in it. Yeah. It's not a lap pool. Yeah. Unless you put in like the wave machine over there and we're just diving in and going. <laughs> So around the side, um, I've got my cold plunge coming and then I've got my sauna coming as well. And so you're going to set that all up right here? Yeah, that'll just be outside here. But yeah. not like on the front? Uh, no, no, just like, because obviously this is a little side entrance. So we've got, um, yeah, we've got our outdoor sockets right here. Got it. So you can set up everything right here pretty so, easily. Yeah, just cold plunge right here. And then we've spec'd out a, a six sauna. person sauna. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's you nearly love good, ready. You love a good sauna? Sauna every single night, like without question. The, to me, there's nothing more important for your health than sauna. Really? Why? Because think about it, sauna is kind of like, for example, when you get sick, yeah. your body basically turns into a sauna. You get a temperature because your body is trying to get rid of all of the toxins and all the bacteria and basically, you're basically just trying to sweat it out. Um, so a sauna is almost preemptive, a preemptive measure. So you do the sauna every night? Yeah. So you just sweat it out for how long? If, if it's a night, maybe... 20, 30 minutes, but I like to do rounds as well. And if it's morning, then I'll do just cold plunge. Okay. Yeah. And then you get the beach. This is my first time on the Palm, but it's pretty crazy how man-made this is and like this view of the city with the Ferris wheel. At night, it's very, like that's when it's really, really peaceful. Yeah. And you can and it's already it starting to cool down. Yeah. Like the sun just going down. It's not as hot as it was earlier. It's wild. But I guess what I'm saying, it's just a very different vibe because you see some of the city lights over there and it's, it's a very interesting vibe at night. Yeah. But uh, you also hear the fish. You'll hear like these large, large pods of fish. And um, one time my mom, she was staying and she sent me a video. It was just a pod of stingrays. Really? So you find, yeah. They come all the way in here. There's some interesting stuff that you find in this water. Yeah. Dubai, man. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks for having us do the house tour. Yeah. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. I know you're yeah. very busy. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah. Thanks for watching.